Hi everyone, this is Carrie Cole with Side by Side Educational Consulting, where we work side by side with educators to improve outcomes for all kids. We've been talking in our series of phonological awareness about lots of different things, why it's a critical component in learning to read, what those levels of phonological awareness look like, and really what it looks like at the phoneme level. We talked a lot in our last video about um, phoneme, developing phoneme awareness using blending and segmenting. I want to touch a little bit today on phonemic awareness at an advanced level. So when we take kids to the advanced level of phonemic awareness, this is really teaching kids how to manipulate those sound structures in lots of different ways. It could be things like looking at phoneme addition, phoneme deletion, and phoneme substitution. So let me give you some examples of what that might look like. Phoneme addition might look something like this. Boys and girls, the word is arc. What's the word? Put a p at the beginning. Now what's the word? Park. So it's taking a part and then adding, that's why it's called phoneme addition, and a, a phoneme at the beginning to make a new word. It's a more difficult skill than simply blending and segmenting because it's it's, you're manipulating some of those sound structures in words. Another way that we could look at this is through phoneme deletion. So what I could do is then give the whole part of the word and delete a phoneme and we'll see what's left. It could look something like this. So, boys and girls, the word is park. What's the word? Park. Take away the p in park. What's left? Arc. That's phoneme deletion. So we took a hole, took away a sound, and that sound could be the beginning, me um, middle, or end sound. We did the beginning, and then we say what's left. That, again, is phoneme deletion. We did phoneme addition, phoneme deletion. Now I want to take you to the most difficult skill, which is phoneme substitution. And all phoneme substitution is, is substituting one sound for another in the word. So it could look something like this. Boys and girls, the word is park. What's the word? Park. Change the p in park to an m. What's my new word? Mark. So they're having to change out some of those phonemes to make new words. Again, much more difficult skill. But why is all of this important? Why do kids need to be able to do phonemic awareness at an advanced level? Here's what they're finding in the research. Really successful readers, really proficient readers, are able to do those advanced phonemic awareness skills. And those advanced phonemic awareness skills help build toward automaticity in reading. When you think about it, reading is such a multifaceted skill and there's lots of things that you have to multitask while you're reading. In your brain, there's just lots going on. I'd like to make an analogy to basketball. So when you're thinking about basketball and what it takes to play the game of basketball, for example, what are the individual skills that you need to play basketball? Well, there'd be things like you've got to be able to shoot, you've got to be able to dribble, you've got to be able to run, all of those would be individual skills. Maybe you need to be able to jump. Those would all be individual skills that you need in order to be, play basketball way, well. And when you go to basketball practice, they work on those skills individually. But when you think about it, when you come to an actual basketball game, what's going on? You're having to use all of those different skills, all at different times, and you're having to make split-second de uh, split decisions in when you're going to use those skills. And then on top of it, you're playing another team that's probably playing defense and they're trying to keep you from being able to do those things well. It's similar, not the same, but similar when you think about reading. When you're reading, there's so many different things that are going on. You've got to be able to not only have those individual skills intact, but you've also got to be able to manipulate all of that and be able to do all of those things with automaticity at advanced levels in order to be able to play the game well or to be able to read well. So when we talked about blending and segmenting in the previous video, being the pre, really the two critical components for learning to read and learning to spell, it's true. Those are the two critical skills. But what we're finding is for kids to become really automatic and fluent at reading, they've also got to be able to have those advanced phonemic awareness skills. That's why we also need to be working at those skills 
of manipulation at the phoneme level, the addition, deletion, and substitution. Okay, everyone, thanks for watching. I hope that you found this video useful. Hey, if you did, give us a thumbs up, and remember, you can subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.